Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast here on YouTube. Now, I've done the two books before. This is Jamie Gilson, Hobie Hansen series, what I've always called since I was a kid. Now, I've talked about them first. It's the start off the kids in fourth grade. These three I'm in now is like the summer between fourth grade and fifth grade, then fifth grade. And they're just fun little books. Like, really surprised me. And I did not know this is the last one. No, the, the this is book three. Book four is the last one in the series I knew about back in the day. I just learned about book no, yeah, I learned about book five a few years ago, book six and seven. I just learned about recently. I got a full run. I just need to get the first one in uh, hardcover. So real quick, Herbie Hanson, you were. This is the summer between fourth and fifth grade. That's Herbie. That's Molly Bosco. Girl, you can't say it's like the smartest girl in school. You know, the boss girl of the school of uh, fourth grade, fifth grade. All his friends have stuff to do during the summer. He's stuck, has nothing to do. He's bored, and this is about what he does this summer. His birthday's in July. I think I connected with the character. My birthday's in July. My birthday's his birthday was on Fourth of July. Mine's right after Fourth of July. My parents would always say fireworks for John to shoot them all. I wouldn't shoot them all for your birthday. Oh, okay. The whole plot is he's got a he's in charge of burying the class time capsule at the city hall. And then the other big thing is he is uh well the story starts off uh Lisa something. I can't remember last name. It's one of the girls in the class, a friend of Molly. She is going on to like Miss Preteen Personality Contest or something like this, and she ends up, Molly's in it too, and Molly loses Lisa Wynn, so Molly don't want to talk to her, and all the friends, all the other girls don't have a Lisa. So she's looking for somebody to hang out with that summer, hoping he has nobody to hang out with, they start hanging out. And it's just a cute little kid's book. Uh, the big, the big plot point is 4th of July night, Hobie, uh, oh, this picture here, this is the pie eating contest. This guy from the newspaper takes a picture and has Molly kiss him on the cheek. And snaps a picture and ends up in the paper. And the big plot point is towards the end, they're going through the time capsule. And early on 4th of July night, this kid disappeared and was missing. And they lost, that mother had lost like her brooch pin or something like this. And Hobie and Molly here are looking for him. They found the kid, they found the pin. So she wants to thank him. And they're at the time capsule thing. She wants to put a copy of the paper where they, they get thanked in. And they're on the front cover. And they get surprised. And Hobie's like, oh my God, I kissed my girl on the front cover. Fourth grade, of course. Cool little book. I mean, I, this took me about two days to read because I just wasn't in a reading mood. Now, these next two I read in one damn night. This is Double Dog Dare. So the next book's the start of fifth grade. And all that this one is, is Hobie's kind of mad because his best friend Nick, who I'm assuming this is Nick. The artist changes on these books around this time. So, like, sometimes Hobie's portrayed with blonde hair. Sometimes he's got dark hair. I'm not really sure. This friend Nick is going into, like, the talented and gifted class along with Molly. Hobie feels kind of dabs and thinks it means he's dumber than his best friend. And they got a new girl at school. And Lisa, who's now one Miss Preteen Personality for the Nation, is having a big celebration party at the ice skating rink, so they're all going to go. That's the big plot. And the double dog dare to thing is they're doing, they're playing like double, duh, truth or dare. And Nick and one of the other guys, I can't remember who it is, dare Hobie to kiss Molly. And Nick has learned from the new girl that, and I've never heard about this when this came out. And this is one I read, like, I was out of elementary school. This came out, I was in junior high or high school. But my still worked at elementary school and got the book fair flyers. I'm like, oh, should I Jimmy Gibson, Hobie Hanson book? Yeah, grab that for me. It's like two bucks. I'll pay for it. And read it in a day. Okay, so they, this girl, the new girl, had found out, like, if you take wintergreen mints with sugar and crunch them on the back of your teeth real quick, you'll see sparks. So Hobie uses that to play a prank on Molly, which makes everybody think that he kissed her. And then he pulls the same prank on Nick. And I want to say it's RX. There's so many kids. There's like, there's Rolf, there's RX, there's Eugene, there's Marshall. But that's the big, that's the double dog there. And that's the, I don't remember where they found that spider. I can't remember what they used that spider for. But that's this one. It's not bad. It's probably out of the ones I've read. It's not my least favorite, but close to it. This one, like, nothing really happens. This is the one that I didn't learn a few years ago. I was on Amazon looking for it. I was like, well, let me get all the Jamie Gilson stuff, and I'll find nice hardcovers. And I discovered this exists. I'm like, oh, let me order that, and I just ordered it. And I got a, a paperback of it floating around my room, but I want a hardcover. You can see everyone in the next library. All right, this one is a little further in the fifth grade. Hobie is babysitting his best friend Nick's little brother, Toby. While Nick is at the den, it's raining real bad. Hobie's worried about it flooding. The house starts flooding. Molly comes to save them on like an inflatable giraffe. And Hobie's trying to save his cat, who's next door, and Miss Rossi, Nick's last name is Rossi's diamonds. That Toby's been talking about. And Toby's like, 
like for four, maybe five. He might be in school by this one because I know one of the early ones he was teaching Toby, Toby the alphabets. They go off on the draft. They end up running into it's either RX or Ralph, and I can't remember which one. It was, R, it was Shay, so it's RX, who has a rowboat with his sister in. So they get in the rowboat. They end up going to the like local community center, spending the night. Their school gets flooded, so their school gets moved into an abandoned store in the mall. That's why he's grace here in the mall. And this whole one is about how. Not a lot happens. Just moving into the mall. Uh, he's trying to find the diamonds that he lost. Molly is trying. Molly is trying to change and become like a little bit, not so much of a bitch, but Lisa is now the bitch. And I'll point this out because I don't know about the very first book about thirteen weeks sixty seven is Ivana. Ivana. God, what is her? Slokovich. Let me see. I got. I, I'm. It's gonna bug me if I'm remembering. It's Ivana. Sloka. I think Slokovich. I'm not sure. Who did that. And look at the art. Like, there's Molly and them in the draft. I don't matter. She's a teacher now. They're a teacher now. And all that really happens is Hobie finds out that they, the school brings over all their stuff because their classroom was on the second floor, so they didn't get damaged. But the bottom floor of the school did, so they're in the, the mall. Their school brings over, like, paper sacks full of stuff they found in their lockers and stuff. And Hobie ends up finding out that Molly had put in his bag the box of diamonds she had found. But Lisa switched bags, and now that bag is in a trash can. It's a talking lion. So Hobie's trying to go in the trash can and dig it out. That's about it. And then you find out at the very end the diamonds are fake. Like, the mama ordered them off Home Shopping Club, and they're like 15 bucks a piece. They're so goddish. She gives one to Hobie and one to uh, Molly. I love these damn books. I mean, they're they're very, I mean, this one I think was like early 90s. Hold on. And I've read Can't Catch Me on the Gingerbread Man. Hello, my name is Scrambled Eggs. All these. I remember finding all hers in the local library. 89, so God, how old was I in 89? I was 15 in high school. So I, that's why I didn't hear about this one. And there's two more. I have them. I'm in the middle of reading one right now. It's called like Skeletons in the Closet or something like that. And then there's a soccer-based one, which is kind of weird because Hobie's never portrayed as like a sports guy. So I don't know, but I love the fuck out of these. I'm, like, I'm, I do videos on weird stuff, and I don't talk about a kid's subject, and I'm dropping the F-bombs like fuck, 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 Oh, well, this channel ain't for kids. But. If you want something to read to your kids, or you want something to your kids, or I don't know how these would appeal to modern kids because it's so very 80s, maybe or like video games are barely mentioned. They don't really talk about TV. You know, there's no computers. The big thing is in this one, Nick, who is one of these two kids, or I'm guessing this one probably, that's how they usually draw a Hobie look and that kind of face. Uh, gets sent off to camp, a computer camp that he hates. And now because of a computer camp. I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.